So hello everyone. In previous video, we have done all the setup of the libraries of the room database as well as the uh, KSP file, which is Kotlin Symbol Processing. So in this video, what we have to do, we have to write some code for the uh, for the room database setup, and we have to create all the tables and the entities and the uh, classes. So let's see how we can start it. So uh, let's write the full code of the Android application using the Kotlin room with KSP Kotlin Symbol Processing. And we are going to implement the all the UI implementation. The app will have the two screen as we know. Like first is the home screen and second is the register screen. In home screen, we are going to display the students with the ability to add a new student. And then after we are going to create a register screen. In this register screen, we are going a uh, uh, user can be able to fill the details of the students and uh, uh, also able to delete and update the update the things so now what we have to do we have to just uh, create a new package here which is known as the database okay so here data database okay now in this database we need to create a new class which is a new data class which is a student student okay and this is a data class so we have to select the data class here and in this constructor, we have to pass some of the variables. Okay, so what are the variables there? So first of all, we have to provide some entity. Sorry, at the entity. Okay, in this entity, we have to pass the table name, which is student. okay so this is the table name and in this we have to pass all the variables like what type of data that we are going to store in this table so which is a primary key first of all we have to add the primary key okay and we have to show the auto generation which is true so that the primary key will be incremented automatically and we have to pass true okay and then we have to pass a value which is val id which is int and we have to initialize it by zero okay and just give a semicolon here uh, sorry uh, comma here and then we have to pass other variable so let's format this first okay and in this we have to write all our variables so second variable will be the first name first name which is a string value then we have to put the comma and we have to write the another one which is the last name of the student which is string comma and then after we have to write a new which is a roll number roll number which is a string as well okay and we have to put the comma and then we have to pass the school name sorry school name which is also a string okay and then our class is getting completed and let's reformat it and then started our uh, other works so this is our data class which is basically has the entity and uh, we are also passing the table name which is known as the students and uh, this is our basically an entity class like what the type of data we are going to store which is the first name and secondly which is the last name roll number school name and all so we can you can add according to our need as well if you wanted to store some more data so you can create this okay and then after you have to just create a DAO interface so, okay so in this you have to create a uh, like a DAO thing okay so uh, let's create an interface for it like uh, uh, what is DAO here DAO is nothing but it is a data access object okay so how we can access the data by using this DAO class so let's create our other interface which is a student DAO. Student DAO. Okay. And uh, which is an interface as we can see. Just click on enter. Okay. 
and we have to give a annotation we wanted to know the our compiler that it is a DAO class a DAO interface so what is DAO here DAO is nothing but it is a uh, it is known as the data access object by using this data access object you can just test all the data from the uh, from the uh, SQLite database so let's give an annotation here okay which is android x room okay and then we have to pass all the query and all the methods for getting the data so we have to write a query method sorry query and in this query we have to pass the uh, uh our query so what we have to pass we have to pass a query in the format of string okay so let's write we have select the CLECT select star which is a normal basic SQL query from students students order by first name order by sorry by order by then we have to put some space as well which is a SQL query so we have to put the space by first name sorry first name and in the format of a ascending order okay so we have to ascend it okay so this is the query that we are going to use in this we have to pass a method as well so that when the user is going to hit that method it, they are going to get all the student data so we have to create a fun here which is a function which is get all students okay and then we have to expect a return type here okay so as we know that interface is not a complete class it is a basically unprovided uh, body method okay so we have to pass this live data here in this live data we are getting the list of the student sorry a list of the student student okay so this is the first method that we have created so let's create some more method for inserting of data okay so we are going to use this annotation which is known as the insert okay in this insert we have to write another query like uh, on conflict okay so for inserting the data in the particular database we don't need to write some query okay for fetching it we have to write the query and just we are passing the table name and the function is going to happen so what we have to do we have to write the on conflict method with the on long conflict strategy okay so this is the on conflict strategy in this strategy we have to pass the replace value okay and then we have to write our method again okay which is fun here which will be the, a suspend function because it is taking a time for inserting some data from the database so then we have to use a suspend function and we are going to use a coroutine for it so how we can do it we have to use the insert uh, uh, student method so let's create insert student okay so this thing uh, we have to pass the student and we also create a delete method as well for deleting of data okay in this we have to just pass a suspend method again which is delete student delete student okay and we are just passing the student again so our DAO class is ready and control a control r plus l so let's refactor all the codes here and we have created three methods here this is the interface is basically used for accessing the our database then first uh, method is going to uh, call all the students uh, list from the database 
and secondly we are going to use this suspend method for inserting something in our database and the third one is for uh, deleting something from the database so these are the basically three type of uh, operation that we are going to do in this video so let's create one more class which is known which is very important so we have to create this object uh, basically a companion object that can be used from our uh, repository class okay so let's create this one as well so then we have to click on the new and we have to go to the cotton class dot file then we have to give the name called as the abstract class which is which will be the student database student database okay so this is the basic class that we are going to use so we have to remove this camel casing here and uh, which will be the abstract class so we don't have the option so we can use this class uh, forever and then we have to change this class to the abstract class so this is a class and we have to make it abstract then uh, we have to use the abstract keyword okay so this all get finishes so we have to get some annotation for database in this database we have to pass some entities so we have to pass this entities which is really the array of the student class so we have array of the student sorry student okay and just it is the class we have to pass this class and we also need to pass the version here of the database version which will be the one and secondly we have to pass uh, export schema okay which will be the false for now okay so what is this this is basically abstract class which is going to know our compiler like which database our uh, data is going to be stored okay so we in this abstract class we have to extend some classes which is known as the room database okay so in this room database we have to implement some methods as well we have to override some methods which is okay so uh, this is the room database uh, we have to extending these classes and in this class we have to write some abstract method as well okay so abstract fun student student now which will be the abstract and we are just passing expecting a student DAO here okay so this is the abstract method that we have created and then we have to create a companion object which is going to be accessible by using this class name. okay so what we have to do we have to pass a companion object companion object in this object we are going to using a annotation which is known as the volatile okay sorry volatile and then we have to use the private where an instance of this class instance instance of this student database okay which can be null if we want it if we don't want to initialize it so then after we have to write the method which is known as the for getting our database and how we can get our database so by using this uh, this method we are going to get our database or initializing our database okay so we have using fun here fun get database and we have to pass a context here okay which is the content context and then we have to use student database okay and we have to write some code here so we are returning a student database object here and by using this object we are going to initialize our uh, database so we have to return here which will be the instance which can be null and we are using the elvis operator we are used the synchronized keyword here 
okay in this we have to pass this for creating a single object then we have to move okay and uh, we have to pass the one more variable which is instance in this instance we are getting the room dot database builder and we have to pass the context in this that which we are receiving in this context we have to get the application context basically and just using a comma and student database dot colon con class dot java and we have to pass in this one more thing which what is the name of the database is student database okay and then we have to use dot dot build method okay by using this dot build method we have to instance okay we have to pass this instance here once it is passed then we have to return this instance okay so this will be the our return object finally and we have created our the abstract class for the database so these are the things and then we have to write complete all the code and these are the basic setup of our project for the room database and the ksp so as the annotation that you are getting here it is from we are getting from the ksp classes okay so that's all for this video in next video we are going to create the repository classes and the view model classes for getting the data and we are also going to create a ui for it and there is a lot of thing that we are going to learn in this project video so thanks continue with us being with us so if you have any doubt you can drop a comment in this so thank you thank you everyone bye bye